Okay, bud, we ready? Here we go. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to a Thursday edition of Morning Scone, presented by Boudreaux's. Bloody Mary mix, margarita mix. Drew learned the word Boudreaux's. That is exciting times. Music show. Music show's on in there. That's true. True story. True story. Nick Torino, what's up, man? Trivia Carter, what's up, man? Lori Prophet, what's up, man? Hit that share button. Hopefully, y'all do the same. Appreciate it very much. Um, I wish I could see everybody that joins. Like, it's just 16 people are watching, but it's only showing me four names right now. So, I wish I could, I could holler at everybody. But, uh, Craig Schilling, Charlie Cavell, Andrew Bayer, what's up, y'all? Robert Boudreaux, Chandler Tulis. What y'all got this morning? Um, got the Home Depot College Football Award Show today. That'll fire drill because it's Home Depot. Uh, find out about Greedy Williams and uh, Cole Tracy if they win their respective awards. What's up, Dad? Good morning. Brandon Ray, good morning. Um, I was pretty fired up yesterday. Uh, had Ryan Clark on AFR. If y'all missed it, you go listen to it, man. We talked a lot. Of... What? Meme? Hodipo. Hodipo. Um, Jason DeRoche, good morning. And they had Ryan Clark on the show yesterday. Uh, and he basically said, yeah, man, Nick Saban and the Packers is a great idea. He'd do great. People would instantly respect me. Basically validated everything we talked about yesterday. I was like, man, that's awesome. Hope Nick goes. Let's see, Dustin Johnson, good morning, Matt. Can it be Friday? I wish, Dustin. I'm ready for this weekend, man. Got Calic High. Saturday morning, Saturday noon, in the Dome, taking on Curtis. Ready for that, man. Watch me, uh, watch my Bears get another state title. Fired up for it. Uh, Craig Savoy, good morning. Yeah. Stephen Beach, what's up? Uh, Andrew Bear, do you think Cole can win? I do, and I think he will. I saw um, – SI.com came out with their All-America team, and they actually had to get from Syracuse as, as their first team or Nicole as their second. Um, but I talked to I talked to some voters because I was interested. Um, I've become more interested, obviously, with uh, – if y'all – you know, this year we had – Nicole's dad came on, came on the show early in the season. We've had Cole on the show a couple of times. Um, and when when the traces have come in town, I've, I've met up with them a couple of times. Just really good people. Um, I kind of become become friends with them. Um, hey, what what are you doing? What? Please don't turn it off. Yeah, don't do that. Happy birthday. Um. Anyway, so I I was really interested you know, for them to see if Cole would win, and so I started asking some people that were voters, and the general consensus I got were neck and neck but are we starting this again where you're gonna start like sabotaging my camera okay. don't you do it okay. dad, show. dad show okay thank you drew um it kind of seemed like it was coming down to that final week with cole and uh and andre from uh, Syracuse, whatever his name is. Uh, and the kid from Syracuse missed his only kick that day. <laughs> Cole missed, missed one. He missed that long one, if you remember, in regulation against a and But he, he made two in overtime, including a 50-yarder. So, um, anyway, I think uh, I think Cole's going to win it. Also, he has the, the, the back story with the assumption. So, I think there's some name recognition with all that. So, I, I do... I expect Cole to win. Um, I'm not sure if Greedy's gonna win, but Mama. but for the what, Bubba? But Mama. for the, for the same reasons, I think Cole could. I think Greedy could win too. Gre Greedy's got cool backstory, cool name. Was awesome last year. A lot of rec name recognition. Um, Home Depot. You know he's on all the mock drafts. Um, that's a little bit tougher though, man, because you know the kid. Uh, Love from from Notre Dame, from Notre Dame or DeAndre Baker from Georgia. I mean, both are great players too. Hi. Okay. Sounds great. 
That sounds great. Uh, Tullus. Sorry about that, Chandler. Tullus. Got it. Trampus Butler. What's, hey, Trampus, did, uh, did Matt Flynn get you your goods? Please respond. Because I gave it to him to deliver to you. Uh, Ian Dallimore, good morning. Frank Perniciaro, good morning. Let's see, Robert Boudreaux says, Matt, if Saban goes to the Packers, let's have a whiskey party. Robert, if Saban goes to the Packers, we'll like rent out pluckers and let everybody come eat and drink for free. Don't quote me on that. You know what I'll do? I'll get the 500 bucks that Dwayne from Thibodeau owes me, and I'll, I'll throw a, a listener party. Everybody come just drink on me. Uh, hot brew with Drew. Let's see. Will that be the most individual awards LSU's gotten in a year if he wins? Um, they got, uh, so in 2011, Mo Claiborne won the Thorpe and Tyron won the Bednarik. So two different guys won. In 2007, Dorsey won four awards himself. So like he swept, like he won the Lot, the, the Lombardi, the um, Outland, and there's one more. He maybe he won the bed in Eric. I'm trying to remember. Anyway, um, so Dorsey won four himself in 2007. Um, but this would be the first that like if three guys win. So if you know Devin White already won. If Greedy and Cole both win, they have three in one year. That'd be the most individual, most you know different people that won in a year. Uh, let's see, Charles Reeves. Will we see Brandon Marshall this year? If not, is Kelvin Benjamin an option? Seems like uh, it's supposed to be a tall wide receiver's desire. Um, good question, Charles. I, I think you do see Brandon Marshall. Music show. Um, I would not go Kelvin Benjamin. When you have a guy... Momo. When you have a guy as a first-round draft pick that keeps getting cut... Uh, generally, that that tells you something about him. God, he's kind of he's kind of fat too, Kelvin Benjamin. Not doesn't really keep himself in shape. Um, he obviously had the the, the injury in Carolina. Um, I don't think Kelvin Benjamin would be an option. Um, Marshall's interesting though, and I don't think people would care as much if his name wasn't Brandon Marshall. You know. Let's see. Charlie Cavell, that'd be huge for the program to have major award winners. It is. It's always great, man, when you can add those award winners. It's really cool, too. I don't know if y'all have ever gotten to go inside of football ops. Um, but that's where a lot of the media availability and stuff is, typically. Uh, not now, because they're renovating it. But um, when you walk in the lobby of, of football ops, it's like this rotunda, right? Uh, just open lobby where you can see up to the second floor. I don't know what it's going to look like when they renovate it. When you walk in, it's basically the trophy room. And they've got all the bowl trophies on this wall from floor to ceiling. And it's encased against this wall. And then the rest of it is just displays of all the national award winners and championship trophies and stuff like that. Um, so, like, you've got the Glenn Dorsey wing over here with all of his trophies. Then they got the Odell Beckham uh, display with his uh, uh, Hornig Award. And they got the Josh Reed display with his, uh, his Blitnikoff. Mama. And so all that stuff's Mama. all in there. Momo. <laughs> really? Great story, Drew. Rusty said, so anyway, so all these guys, I mean, you add more to it, obviously it's great. Yeah. Rusty said it all, Bubba A. Bear, Everett Himmel, good morning. Uh, Jerry Reynolds, good morning, Drew and Matt. You think Peter Paris would be a better quarterback than Tolia? Uh, Jerry, he's talking about the two, well, Peter Parrish committed to LSU. Tolia is two as brothers committed to Alabama. And they played in the state championship game last night in Alabama, like the 7A state championship. And Peter Parrish's team uh, won big blue out uh, to his brother's team. Um, honestly, Jerry, I wish I could give you a great answer, man. But um, I, I haven't seen either kid play because I, I mean – like scouting high school football like that isn't really what I do. 
Um, when, when I was calling games, I could give you an honest opinion on guys that I'd see. Um, you know. Um, I haven't seen either of those guys play, so I can't give you an honest assessment of either of them. Um, but, but quite honestly, just if you look at the track record over the last decade, why should I believe that LSU is going to develop a quarterback? I mean, the last player that LSU signed out of high school as quarterback and stayed four years as a quarterback was Jordan Jefferson. Hi. I mean, Russell Shepard stayed, but he switched positions. No other quarterback that they've signed from high school has made it to the end of their eligibility since then. So it's just not a great track record, man. Um, event, you figure eventually that trend's got to end, right? Eventually you got to hit on one. But, you know, Burrow's a transfer. Edling was a transfer. Mettenberger was a transfer. I mean, that's been more of what they've what they've relied on as a stopgap. So, let's see. Um, but if you made me guess, I'd put my money on Tua's brother because he's going to a place where they've had better success recruiting and developing quarterbacks. Uh Nothing on the two kids individually, just I'm looking at track record. Leroy Blanchard, Kerry Tompley, Randy Quinn, what's up? Let's see, Craig Dugat, Matt, thinking of making the basketball game this weekend. Going to make a stop at Tiger Donuts. What's some can't-miss items to try? Oh, Craig, that is a great question. Hi. Um, so I love uh, their brisket burrito. Uh, if you're in the mood for like a sandwich... They also do these like, hi Pete, these sandwiches that are on like donut, the bread is like donut bread, it's amazing. Um, they have like a boudin sandwich, which is ridiculous. But if you want, if you want donuts, which is amazing too, just pick, pick what you think. Like, so they rotate their, their menu of specialty donuts. So, um, so I don't know what what they'll have on the menu this weekend, right? But if you follow them on Instagram, they'll um they'll post their menu like every every week, so they'll let you know what they have. Um, I love maple bacon. Ma maple bacon is like a permanent fixture. It's like that's probably my favorite. They had one which was like a sweet potato pie donut a, a few weeks back, which was. Incredible if you love sweet potato pie. Um, but really, you will you will find something. They're like gourmet specialty donuts, which are so good, man. Oh, just, you like, you won't, you'll be, just get whatever. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just get whatever. Matt Boyle, Sam Dixon, Chandler Tullis. Joey Painich, what's up, Joey? Josh Long. Uh, we're going streaking if he goes. <laughs> Saving. If Saban goes to the Packers, all of college football will be parting. No doubt, dude. Uh, bit, 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 bit. What did y'all think of my idea yesterday on AFR? We talked about Mike Gundy. Uh, Mike Gundy, there's a radio host in uh, in Oklahoma that uh, bet 250 bucks on uh, Oklahoma State to go over eight wins when they went six and six. So Mike Gundy wrote him a check for 250 bucks, paid off his, his, his what he lost. He's like that. He's like, thanks for believing in our team. <laughs> clap hands, clap hands for Daddy comes home. Daddy plays clap hands for Drew B alone. Okay. Boy, somebody, somebody's got a stinky diapy. Mm. You poo pooed. I smell it. I'm not looking forward to that either. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. All right. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Tramp. Okay, good to know, Trampus. Make sure, man. Don't let him swipe that from you, all right? <laughs> William Wilson. <laughs> What's up? Hey, Drew. We need to start the taunting campaign to make Saban jump. The taunting campaign. Saban is, oh, Saban is afraid of the NFL. 
Blake Middleton, Doug Duhon, Trey Dykes, Chuck Sanchez. What's up, everybody? Uh, Kelvin Benjamin is a good option for an offensive lineman. <laughs> I used to say the same thing about Jamarcus. You want to come back? You want to, you want to hug Daddy? Have a hug. Have a hug. 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 Going all Doctor Evil on it. Get over here and give your father a hug. Uh, Craig Duga. Realistically, would Saban quit something he's dominating to go back to something he failed at? I just don't see it, especially since he's near the end of his career. Uh, well, Craig, that was the whole point of the... Uh, if you're wondering, so SI.com had a uh, a column uh, essentially saying that this, this is the, the, the right fit for Saban. Hey. Hey. And and I could point to... Drew, hey, what's the matter, baby? Hey, so come see. Come see Daddy. Come see Daddy. Come here. Come here. Come see me. Come see Daddy. I love you. Mommy. I love you. All right, come see Daddy. Essentially, his point, Craig, was was that, it, kind of like Pete Carroll, right? Pete Carroll failed in the NFL. He was dominating in college, went back to the NFL, won a Super Bowl. It's the only blemish on his record. And it's it's not a money thing. It's a, it's a legacy Daddy. thing. Um, and the opportunity to work with Aaron Rodgers and have a have a you know a generational quarterback would be the thing that that would be appealing about the Packers situation. Um, come see, come see. Um, so it's an interesting idea. Um, and the other thing I'll tell you, man, is some of those guys they're just they're wired differently, man. It's it's hey hey hey, it's. It's about legacy. It's about conquering challenges. Why? Why would Nick Saban have left LSU, some a place where he was dominating and building something great, to go to the NFL because of the challenge? And it's there's something to be said for it, man. Some of those guys they just can't turn that competitive nature of themselves off. Now, look, I I said yesterday I give like a twelve percent chance of happening. Yeah. Um, but you can always wonder, man, if he wins his seventh national yeah. title and he breaks a tie yeah. with Bear Bryant and yeah. his college football legacy yeah. is un, yeah. unquestioned. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe he gives another go. Yeah. Let's see. Trivia. <laughs> oh. So more national award winners but can't beat or, or, or hang with Bama. That's right, trivia. That's right. Uh. Let's see. From bet, bet, bet to hide, hide, hide. Honor thy bets, Dwayne. Amen. That's my point, Sam. Thank you. Whatever happened to, to whatever happened to a little accountability in this world, man? You lost a bet. Show up and pay off, man. You know he'd have been at my doorstep the first minute trying to pay trying to get me to pay off, dude. I, I didn't I didn't take Dwayne for a sucker, man. The guy would just run away from a bet. Anyway. Matthew Shelley, you still sit, come in and let me treat you clear that right up. Good, Matthew. Uh, just running its course, man. Just a little head cold. Um, I'm clearing up. Thank you, though. Ronnie Duga. Let's see, Christian Ortego. Matt, you think Ed Ogeron will be gone if he has a repeat 9-3? and three? No. Um, well, it, it depends what 9-3 and three looks like, but I don't think they fire him next year if he goes 9-3 and three again. Um now I'll tell you this, if your three losses are Texas, um, Bama, and A and M and you lose to Jimbo, Saban, and Herman. Uh, that would sting. Um, the natives would be restless. And then you go into if that were to happen, then you go into twenty with like, to whereas you have everybody coming back this year, you'd go into 20 with like total roster turnover. Uh, Steven Beach. We need a quarterback coach who can not only develop, but who can find the quarterback that fits into the program. We gotta decide what you wanted a quarterback to. I'd put it to you that way, man. Um, you know, one of the, the criticisms that people had all throughout Les's time was they never settled on a style of quarterback, right? Um, you, know, you and like they signed Russell Shepard in the same class that they signed Chris Garrett. You know, you had Stephen Rivers and you had Anthony Jennings. 
you know, for every pro style, you had a dual threat. It was like you didn't ever decide what you wanted to be. And that's kind of part of the concern right now, man. It's like, okay, well, you didn't sign a quarterback last year, but you get Burrow as a grad transfer as a pro style guy. Well, now you get Peter Parrish as a dual yeah, threat guy. Yeah, I get Yucky? What? I didn't understand what you said. Charlie LaBeouf, good morning. Uh, Charlie, what changes to the staff do you think will happen? Yeah, okay. I, it's it's impossible to like completely predict, but I'll give you some yucky. names that I would not. Yucky. 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 I don't know why you're saying yucky. Uh, That's funny. Uh, I know Tommy Robinson um, uh, would like to get back to the NFL at some point, so I wouldn't be surprised if, if the right opportunity came. But again, so much of that is you know having the right opportunity. Um, I would not be surprised at all if Jerry Sullivan retires. Uh, he signed a one-year contract last year. I don't think he wants to keep that schedule. Oh, my little boy. Um, I think it's worth watching what happens with Ensminger. He's got another year on his contract. I suspect he'll be back as OC, but he he could always choose to, to bounce. Those, those are the... What? What? You got dried snot all over your face. You got crusty eyes too, poor bud. You got sleep in your eyes. Oh, who just got here? Did Mimi come? Mimi just got here. Wipe your eye, buddy. I love you. I love you. Love you, love you, love you. Go see Mimi. Go see Mimi. Yeah, he's got the snot face too. Brisket burrito looks legit. I'll probably spend a bill fitty just to get a bunch of stuff. You should. It's good stuff. Um, okay, you can come back. Let's see, Matthew Shelley, any word on LSU from O sending you 500? No, I don't think that's gonna happen. But that was a fun bit. Hal Jubin, Nathan Velasquez. Nathan, what you doing watching, man? You got work to do, doc. Mark Allen, good morning. Uh, uh, Dwayne can kick rocks. Uh, Andrew Bear, LSU baseball. Kick Is there a rocks. spot in the lineup for Brent Broussard? I don't think so, Andrew. Kick, kick rocks. Uh -huh. Did you say kick rocks? Say kick rocks. Kick rocks. Can you say kick rocks? Uh -huh. Say kick rocks. Uh -huh. Kick rocks. Kick rocks. Hey, can you say, got him? Got That was Calakai. Say, got him. Got him. Cool catch. Cool catch. Cool catch. Kick rocks. <laughs> you're saying kick rocks. You think that's funny? All right, we'll get through some of these now that he rolled out of here. Um, Andrew is our spot in line for Brent Broussard. I don't think so, bro. Uh, actually, I think it might have been you maybe asked Terrio that on Tuesday on the podcast um, with Terrio. I, I think they got too much talent this year. He'll play. And I think it's Terrio even said, man, I think Broussard has a chance to play in the show to be a major league infielder. But in got spot. Um, I love how Drew trolls his dad every day. Good morning, Matt. Which bowl matchup are you most intrigued by? Honestly, Steve, like, f like completely honest, I haven't even gone and looked at all the bowl matchups. Um, I was really just interested to see who the top four were. Kick rocks. Kick rocks. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. And who LSU was playing. Um, so before they all start, I'll go through and I'll I'll look at all of them. Uh, Cisco, good morning. Hey, Uncle Mike, good morning. Hey, Tiffany Brando Cruz. Good morning. Thanks again for the help yesterday. Tim, Timmy B lit it on fire yesterday. That's so funny, man. I was just like, all right, go. And he just... <laughs> Mount Brando erupted. It was awesome. Uh, Chuck Sanchez. Um, oh Ch Chuck wants me to ban Dwayne for life. I may do that. If you don't pay up, I might, I might ban him for life. John Melanson Jr., good Fresh morning. Market. Fresh Mark. Fresh Mark. 
Good. Uh, Justin Jones, and I'm bringing Sean Salisbury. Um, what? Uh, what? Kick rocks. <laughs> Kick rocks. Uh, any word I'm bringing Sean Salisbury. I, Sean wants it, uh, but LSU's not going to do anything like that. Any staff changes, certainly until after signing day, the early signing period. So, <laughs> we wait and see. Um, John's, Sean's waiting on a call if uh, Ogeron wants him. Neil Ripley, why 12% on Saban? Um, because it's more than a, a generic round number like 10, uh, but still small enough to where you don't think I re legitimately think it could happen. Uh, would it be better if I said 14%? Uh, Chris Merrill, good morning. Uh, Andrew, why isn't Dabo being considered for the Packers? <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you're serious. You know, Dabo is one of those guys that um, I don't think has a uh, a real specialty as far as coaching. Like Saban was known as a defensive guy. You, know, you talk about some of these young offensive play callers like Lincoln Riley. You know, Dabo was just like a wide receivers coach when he got the interim, and so he's kind of the recruiter, motivator. He's kind of like the Ogeron role. I mean, that was the whole thing was, you know, let Ed be the, the CEO and hire all the smart people around him to run their specific, you know, areas. And he's sort of the recruit, the puppet master. Uh, that's kind of Dabo. That's kind of at least, the, you know, the mold that they kind of hope to build that in. Uh, let's see. Trivia. 2019 football season might be very interesting. we got Coach O going to be on the hot seat if he has another less mile season, unless at Kansas – which I'm excited to see if he changes the conference to be more defensive-minded. That will be interesting to see. Uh, he hired Chip Lindsey as his offensive coordinator, and Chip runs it, run, you know, ran Malzahn's offense, so I don't think Les is bringing Chip Lindsey in to go be a power-eyed team, you know. Um, <laughs> Tiffany, the cookie jammies for the win. Yeah. Drew's, Drew's got his, uh, his cookie footy pajamas. I love rocking those. There he is. Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew. Here you go. Gone again. Uh, <laughs> Craig Duga is just made his Dabo always look like he's recovering from a weekend binge of drugs and bad decisions. I think that's you, Craig. Uh, Chris Roy, good morning. <laughs> Jason Hatcher, good morning, Matt and Drew Kick Rocks. Larry Cavalier, good morning. See Justin Jones. I'm a Packers fan. I'd be so conflicted if Saban went to Green Bay. Also, I'm not the only one who wants to beat Saban before he leaves. I don't LSU to go down without wins over Bama in the Saban era. Justin, I got no time for foolish pride, bro. If Saban wants to go, uh, go good riddance. See ya. Uh, I mean, I, because... I don't think they're beating them next year. You got Tua back next year, and it's in Tuscaloosa. You're not winning next year. Um, you want to make it nine in a row? I mean, come on. Mikel Trailer, good morning. Kirk Taylor, good morning. Army or Navy, who you have? And what you think about the XFL? It's happening. Um, interested to see the XFL announcements yesterday. I think they they picked eight cities strategically. Uh, I like that they're playing at some smaller venues, so they should be able to fill them. You know, soccer venues and things like that. Um, I think they're doing it right, taking a sort of tempered approach. We'll see if it works, man. Um, and as for Army Navy, um, normally I pull for Navy. My dad's a Navy guy. I mentioned my brother-in-law is actually the police. He's a Navy guy's deployed baby. right now. Baby, classical baby. Oh, deeper. Oh, deeper. Uh, I think Army wins though, man. I think Army's gonna win tomorrow. Charlie said, as long as Oliva is AD, I think I was protected unless he goes seven, five, six, and six. Well, that's a problem, Charlie. So if, um, and the other thing to keep in mind is Joe, they still haven't extended Joe Oliva's contract. So, uh, you know, they're going to have to do something with Joe eventually. You know, you either uh, extend him or fire him or he leave, you know, tries to pursue another job. And if and when Joe market. leaves, fresh market. Um, if and when Joe leaves, then that's Ed's safety net is gone. Um, yeah, I know Joe wants an extension. Um, 
Uh, he, let's see. Joe's contract goes through July of 19. I thought it was through July of 20. Happy I thought it was through July 20. Maybe so. So Joe's contract runs through. Don't you turn it off. Wait, 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 wait. No. Don't you do it. What are you doing? Are you hitting, you hitting comments? Hi. Hi. That's I assume when you turn that off. Dad show. Dad show. Dad. Dad show. Mm. Sorry, y'all. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, we're almost done. Hey, Dad's right here. We're almost done. Uh, no. Um. <laughs> let's see. Devin Kelly, good morning. Andrew Bear, any chance a former quarterback coming in as coach? Herb Tyler, maybe someone you interviewed the other night. Uh, hi. 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 Um, pr probably not, Andrew. Um, you know. When coaches are hiring, they're finicky, man. A lot of times they hire their friends or people they're comfortable with. I mean, look at O. I mean, the o, O's whole staff Mama. is made of, of friends or guys he's coached with in the Mama. past. Mama. Mama. Clap hands, clap hands. Hey, Mama, come strong. Mama. Mama, please clap hands. Would you be a low? Oh, oh. Um, why, why, why do you want to go see? Okay. He's fine. Um, let's see. Um, and I and you know as far as Ed. The, okay. okay. As far as uh, you know, Ed with quarterbacks. The only one he's mentioned really is um, um, uh, you know that we've heard connected is Salisbury. Uh, let's see, trivia. The future happiest days of LSU football will be Nick Saban retires, no doubt. Go, or goes to the NFL or comes back to Benders, no doubt. That show, love it. Uh, could the board block Joe from giving Ed a contract extension? Yeah, I mean, they got to prove anything. Um, uh, and by the way, if they, and so Craig said maybe they are thinking of renewing Joe, hence reason Ed isn't getting one. That That's not exactly hand in hand. Um, because you you've ultimately got to extend Ed. Like you can't have your coach on a three year deal. You, you you've got to have him on a four or five year contract. Um. And, but the thing with Joe is that Joe has like, oh, there's just a lot of mixed support. Like some people, so there's a lot of division on the board on Joe Oliva. Um, and that's why he has got a contract extension. Like it's you basically have a lame duck AD. Hey, hey, what's the matter? I don't like that cough. Hey, we're almost done here, okay? You gonna go get dressed? Why don't you go see Mimi and go get dressed? Go see Mimi, go get dressed. Hey, go see Mimi and go get dressed. Okay. All right, a couple more. Um. Sorry, y'all. Um, so, about Joe. Essentially, else you got a lame duck AD because they don't have enough board support to give him a contract extension. Um, there's a lot of people who are just waiting. To, there was, well, before the board sort of turned over some spots at the during the summer, 
there were a lot of people that were trying to push to get him out. Um, they ended up not having the votes to do it, but anyway. Uh, yes, it's odd that Joe doesn't have a contract extension, but eventually they're going to have to poop or get off the proverbial pot. Uh, and that would come very, very soon, I would imagine. Um, let's see. Cheryl, what's the reason we don't have a true quarterback coach? Well, they've never designated one, and you only have a limited number. You, know, you only had nine full-time assistants, now you have ten. And they committed that for a um, a special teams coordinator. Not everybody has a permanent quarterback's coach. It's just allocation of staff spots. Edward Cooper, Chandler Greedy's comments about LSU's offense in Alabama, what were they? Uh, Greedy said, um, his ex well, I'll pull up his exact quote. It was something to the effect of just, he said something like, real, real talk, they can score the ball and we can't. He said, what was the difference between you and Alabama? He's like, real talk, they can score the ball, we can't. Um, I'll pull it up. Just being real, they can score the ball and we can't. That was his quote. Which is true. And I saw Sadiq Charles reply to that quote. It's like, come on, man, we just scored 72. I'm like, in seven overtime, Sadiq. Please stop. You get shut up by Alabama, bro. Come on. Anyway. All right. I think we're down to the end of them, y'all. I'm going to go about my day. Any more? Um, I'm somewhat drawn to the out-of-touch argument. We've lost the fan atmosphere on campus. Uh, oh, will likely be more in the hot seat online next season than in actually. What? Actuality. It would take a major downturn to put him in jeopardy, sadly. Some would actually wish for that. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think O is out. I mean, if if Ed Ogeron were to get fired next year, it would have to be like a sub five hundred type season. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, you know, if if next year isn't your your contending again season, then then you probably go into year four, thinking something like that. Um, Andrew Calandro's next Thursday. What time does it start? Uh, five, five to eight. So that's the rare whiskey raffle at Calandro's. Five to eight, Perkins location. So. Look forward to that. I'll, as soon as show ends, I'll I'll jump over there. The raffle itself starts at seven, so um, get there early, man. Get there early and get your tickets. If they, especially if they pre-sell tickets, uh, go get it because the line will be long, man. The line is gonna be long for that thing. So um, anyway, all right, let's bounce. Uh, Boudreaux's Bloody Mary mix, Margarita mix. Appreciate Boudreaux's as always. Uh, if y'all do come out next Thursday to Calandro's, look for me, man. Y'all come say hi, introduce yourself. I'd appreciate it. Uh, Boudreaux'sMix.com. Like them. They're tagged here on this page. Uh, you, uh, appreciate if you like their page. And you know, if you're looking to put together a gift basket or just to have something on your bar at the house, Boudreaux's Bloody Mary Mix, Margarita Mix, awesome peeps. I'd appreciate it greatly. All right. A Locked on LSU podcast later today, AFR at 3 o'clock. Um, as always, hit me up with comments, questions. Appreciate it as always. Y'all have a good one. See ya.